Hello, and welcome to a figure review for the Anime Heroes Beelzemon. So, this is my first Anime Heroes figure. Uh, for those of you who may have seen them before, you might know, but those who don't, um, it's kind of a line of action figures around the same scale that cover a lot of different anime. I think so far I've seen, like, there's Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and Digimon, obviously. Um... And yeah, they're, they're quite interesting. They're kind of like the anime equivalent of Marvel Heroes or Star Wars The Black Series, I guess. And today we're taking a look at Beelzemon from Digimon Tamers, which is the uh, third season of Digimon. So we'll take a quick look at the packaging and then I'll actually take him out. So we've got the front with him looking cool. We've got the side which says Anime Heroes uh, in Japanese, obviously. On the side we've got the kind of same key art of Beelzemon, and on the back we've got, so this is I think Gen 1 of the line, I don't know if there's other Gens planned or anything, but we've got Ward Greymon and Omnimon as well. Pretty basic packaging, quite light as well, this figure isn't exactly a heavy boy, but um, I am curious to see what he's going to be, so without further ado, I am going to open up the box. Okay, I'm back and I've opened him up, so let's take a look inside. So, let's take a look at Beelzemon himself first. Uh, there will be a photo montage in a minute after we take an initial look. So, you know, don't worry too much if I skip over any particular details, because we'll get on to that. So, as always, we'll begin from the bottom. Now, first off, I don't remember Beelzemon having such spiky toe caps. That, they're weird, but... I, I don't doubt they are correct, it's just I don't remember that about Beelzemon. Um, but, you know, I am probably wrong. Uh, so, let's move up. He obviously has his sort of black leathery uh, motorcycle kind of legs and uh, knee pads, which are very important if you are riding a motorcycle. You know, it's good to have knee pads just in case you fall off. Um, so, the cool feature that I didn't, I didn't notice in the packaging is that he's got a little holster here. That is actually hollow, so you can put one of his guns in here. Um, in fact, I think on the side uh, he does have a gun holstered and a gun in his hand. So that's that's actually kind of cool. Uh, so, moving on up, we got his belt and stuff. Now, this isn't like super, super detailed, but honestly, you know, they, they've got the clothes ripple and stuff going down. His knees are a little bit non-existent kind of the I mean his boots kind of end and then it's just uh, you know knees obviously these do move as well like that up and down um, moving on oh actually sorry run there we do have a tail uh, it is segmented which is pretty cool it looks kind of like um, I don't know machine like I guess it can turn that is it though it is just on the one swivel but hey you know it's still pretty cool then, moving on up, we've got both of his arms. Now, I remember he had long arms, but good lord, the proportions there. He is, uh, he is a very lanky dude. So we'll take a look. He's got his gun-holding hand. We'll get onto the other hands in a second. Like, um, pauldrony. No, they're not pauldrony. Greaves? Ge uh, Greaves, right? That's what you wear above your hands? I can't remember. Up to the shoulders, uh, not the sort of stockiest shoulders, they are down a little, actually. Never mind, they do kind of, you can kind of pose them how you want. Obviously, I think his arms are very poseable because, you know, the the whole point of Beelzemon is that he is going to be holding his guns. And then on his other arm, same thing, but he does have his red uh, bandana thing, which... I want to say in the anime was given to him by the two kids that were his Digidestined... I think, or I could be wrong, I can't remember. I'm going to put his arms down to the side for now so they don't uh, obstruct the rest of him. He's got his kind of cool co uh, fur collar. Um, let me move his tail. He's got these things on his back as well. So like nails, I think it is, or pipes or something kind of protruding out of his back. Again, not something I remember from the anime or whatever, but... I'm sure he does have them, but interesting. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what those are. And then, last but not least, we've got his face, which I think is pretty well detailed. He's got the Digimon eyes. I mean, if you've watched or played any of the Digimon games, you'll know what I mean. He's pretty darn cool. He's got his sort of, like, blonde hair there and his mask. 
yeah, I think it's pretty darn good. It's not, you know, super, super high quality, but then this is... I want to say the price point for these are around £20. Now, I was actually lucky. I got this for free because I bought a Digimon Vital Bracelet at a Comic-Con last year. And because it was the Bandai store, because I spent over a certain amount, I got this for free. Which is weird, so I didn't know of that, but hey, I ain't complaining. So, he's got two extras as well. Uh, sorry, well, four extras, technically. He's got one of each hand, uh, which is, obviously, you can remove them. These are kind of filled in hands, so if you don't want him holding guns, you can put this on instead. Um, which I might do, but I'm probably going to display him holding his guns. On the topic of guns, here they are. My focus isn't great, I'm sorry. Uh, they, so, they're kind of like sawed-off shotguns, I suppose, or very... Short nose, nose shotguns, a little red thing on the front there. They're, they're detailed enough. They're not super detailed, but, you know, they do the job. And obviously the other one uh, is just for the other side as well. I think they're slightly curved, so you know which hand holds which. Anyway, I'm going to go off now and take some photos of him in various poses, holding the guns and being cool and stuff. And then we'll get back for the conclusion. So here is the montage. Okay, I'm back and I've done a bit of a photo shoot. Honestly, I'm really impressed with this figure. Uh, when I first looked at it, and honestly, to get the packaging out real quickly, on the back, I'll be honest, the image they showed of him, I don't know, it, it doesn't really do him justice, I don't think. I kind of looked at it, and, well, especially the posing on all of them, to be honest, and kind of thought like, ah, oh, it looks okay. I guess, like, you know, sure, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take him, I mean, I did get him for free, but honestly, after, like, playing around with him for a while, I'm really impressed. The biggest gripe I'd say I maybe have is that the guns do come loose, kind of easily. It's hard to explain, but they've got ridges inside that go along with the ridges of the hands, and if you press it in and get it at the right angle, they'll stay fine. But if you move his hands too much, they'll kind of, you know, it'll it'll get out of that mould but still be in his hands. So they'll kind of, you know, move about at weird angles or whatever. So you do have to adjust him a lot like that. But apart from that, honestly, he's a really fun figure. His arms are particularly long, so it is kind of... It's harder to pull off some poses. Like, um, a lot of the stuff you saw in the montage, obviously, was him with two guns. And... There are some angles where he does just look a little bit weird because his arms are so long. Um, yeah, I think he works really well. I think that there's there's a lot going on. He's he's a fairly simple figure in terms of sort of he is mostly black and you know sort of a, a, a devilly kind of action guy. So he lends himself well to lots of like dynamic posing and stuff. He balances decently as well. I managed to get a few of him kind of like lower and crouched and looking to the side and stuff. I even managed to get him to do a high kick, as you saw near the end of the montage. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed. He's a lot more solid than I thought he'd be. Because this packaging, like, when I picked it up, I was like, oh god, he is really light. I don't think there's going to be much weight to him. I don't think he's going to be able to do a lot. I thought he was like really, you know, really limited and stuff, but honestly, he's not. He's got a lot of uh, different range in his elbows and his knees and stuff. His hips aren't, you know, wild, but then these are like £20 figures. Honestly, after playing about with this for a while, I'm kind of tempted now to try and maybe get some of the, um, like, One Piece or Bleach or Naruto figures, just sort of, because they're kind of cheap and kind of just fun to pause and stuff so I don't know I, I might consider getting some more of these 
which isn't what I expected going into this. I thought he'd be a completely passable figure. I don't have any Beelzemon stuff, so I thought, hey, you know, it's cool, I'll have a Beelzemon, you know, regardless of how, like, high quality he is. But no, I, I was thoroughly impressed. If you are a Digimon fan, and you're looking for, you know, a an action figure. I know there are obviously Beelzemon statues, I want to say. I think they're a lot more expensive. They're a couple hundred. Obviously, if you are a big Beelzemon fan, you've either, either already got this or you've completely written it off anyway. Oh, I just noticed actually, he does have his, um, his kind of like tube things sticking out the back. I just never noticed that before. I'm clearly not a big enough Beelzemon fan. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'll let you guys get on. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've got this, or any of the other Digimon um, anime heroes, or if there is a Season 2, or like a, a Generation 2, or whatever. Let me know. Um, I'm definitely maybe thinking of getting the other ones, just because they'll scale well. I do have a Wargreymon, but he's in a completely different scale to Beelzemon, so I might get the others, just to have a nice like display or whatever. But yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist to my other action figure reviews on the top there. I'll leave YouTube, choose something else, and until next time, goodbye.